86-year-old Julius Oppenheim says he's been trying to knock down pins for many years. It's good sports. It's good exercise, good sports. The game Oppenheim loves will be celebrated during National Bowling Week, which begins this weekend and runs through next weekend. Among the bowling centers around town taking part in the nine-day-long party is Rab's Country Lanes on Staten Island, where the fun will include staying open for 24 hours next Saturday, part of a national effort to set a world record for most games bowled in a single day. Somebody's going to want to say that they want they can bowl at 4 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, something they've never done before. That will be heaven for regular bowlers who think everyone should give bowling a try. It's a good sport, you know. It doesn't really get recognized a lot, but... I mean, I love it, so I think everybody should do it. It's a really enjoyable, a very enjoyable sport, which everybody can uh, do and enjoy. Bowling is fun and it's great exercise, but another reason you might want to try it is you get to wear really cool shoes. And last year, a lot of people tried on those shoes. In 2007, 67 million people over the age of six bowled. It's the number one participatory sport in the United States. At a time when bowling alleys in the city have been decreasing in numbers, most recently two in Queens this year, Yokobowski says the future of the sport remains bright. High school and college bowling are huge. So with bowling's popularity with the younger folks, I think you're going to see a lot less bowling centers closing, and you may even see some new ones opening up. For more information on National Bowling Week, check out this website, www.gobowling.com. On Staten Island, Roger Clark, New York 1.